I'm not sure whether he lost how to do it or the motivation to do things mm. for himself. You know, things just kept changing, and it was just very rapid. It was like, unfortunately, becoming incontinent. It happened in 24 hours, and there was no going back. His mm. dementia was vascular, and he just sort of you'd fall off a cliff. Something happened. You'd fall off a cliff. New new level of functionality and he go from being totally disinterested to cooking to eventually being disinterested in eating mm -hmm. and yes in the early stages there was this endless snacking and the weight going on god i was trying to get him walking and anything to just keep muscle tone but, but you don't know these things when you start out and you it's don't know. and i had probably been a bit spoiled because heaven was very energetic and great oh, so get things done what i'd be thinking of getting it done and i found it very difficult when then i had to rapidly kind of take on the whole role of yeah, the catering was on i couldn't cope with notes hardly and um so it was um a lot of work there's an awful lot of work in mm. just looking after a house you know and um, getting meals ready and then having to prepare them so that they were suitable for her that gradually you had to get it yeah. that was softened and all that sort of thing and then use the tick colors there's various types especially drinks drinks were particularly difficult and then it would vary from one day to the next one day it would go well another day it would be very very slow you know and it'd be, but even the day you're going it's going well you have to be careful because you know it's great it's, she might eat but it could be going down the wrong way that was the thing i found out that you could be going into the lung or something so that you have to be still careful even when it's going very well apparently um to get um suitable clothing like plastic easy clean aprons and, and even coats yeah i think yeah. my mum would have objected to putting those on yeah. she she didn't really have until the last few weeks of her life she didn't really have much difficulty eating mm -hmm. but it was i just had to be careful with the type of food i gave her that it was mm -hmm. easy to to uh, digest mm -hmm. and not fiddly mm -hmm. and you kind of have to rule out chops and things like that mm. and you know spaghetti bolognese is great but you have to chop up the spaghetti yeah you were looking for softer foods and stuff like that and then if it eventually ended up that everything was going in the food blender you know it's sorry paddy but i i out how to try and have mashed potatoes and stuff on the side but all the small stuff peas and meat or pasta or whatever you know they were all just getting turfed in and turn it into a paste and i could spoon it into them and it would slide down pretty safely um you as it, it progressed you're slowly but surely losing functionality and then you lose the ability to make a move because you something happens and you sort of oh dear right that's an obstacle in my way but i can work away around this way but slowly but surely you get find yourself being backed into a corner with no more moves left yeah i think sometimes we're kind of left to deal with it ourselves yeah. i don't think anybody ever said to me you know or you know doctors or anything that ever prepared me for mm -hmm. um or gave me advice and luckily luckily for me i'm able to cook and i like cooking and i like trying new things yeah and th that's one thing i'd say with anybody with dementia don't get don't kind of rule things out just because they never ate them before because mm -hmm. my mom she'd eat curries mm -hmm. um she liked she actually started to like really like spicy food 